What's up guys, this is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain and you will be wondering why certain things are in different positions and it's because I've had my uh, first game corruption with my uh, my backup system um, ready to rock and roll. So when I save a game I have a an LP1 and an LP2 file so the aim of the game is I load up my newest one play it and then save that over my oldest one so that way i've always got like a i know i've always got a current save and then the save from the part before it so what happened was britain <laughs> my newest britain save got corrupted so i had to i mean i auto resolve my way through it but it was tricky trying to make sure everything's in the right place so there's a couple of spanish stacks wandering around because we didn't kill them all <laughs> um Lots of our armies are depleted, and our army, our navy down here, is still still took a hammer in. Um, but we are back where we left off with this, with broadly the same results. We are, we finally we've taken Gibraltar. There's a few Spanish armies to take, but I'm sure they'll probably just retreat back towards Madrid. But let's just continue to crack on. So one more turn before we get. Which one's that? Power loom and carbines, isn't it? Shortened carbines. And you can go straight on to machine rifling to get those sweet, sweet green jackets. Oh, yeah. But let's hit end turn. <laughs> so, yeah, the end, of the, the end of the last episode and the start of this one might not perfectly drive up, but drive together, but broadly speaking, it will fit. You know, those the Spanish troops in Gibraltar have... Uh, been been damaged. So yeah, they still they still have strength up near Madrid, and the odd ship might get lost to the Spanish devils. But the biggest thing is to take my troops in Portugal and begin to uh, rest, replenish, and recruit because our forces down there after that auto resolve. Because I, I really didn't want to fight them myself. But I am going to fight this because my force here under Horace Davidson is on a bridge. Actually, no, we're, we're, we're quite... We're, we could hold a bridge. Yeah, we can hold a bridge against these guys. Even if we're not on a bridge, um, their army is a lot more depleted, depleted than I am. But yeah, as a result, <clears throat> because I, didn't want to, I really didn't want to fight it again, um, I auto-resolved it, so naturally um, my army's got smashed. But that's it's not the end of the world. It's just the way of the the way of the auto resolve. So there's gonna be a couple more turns of regrouping in Lisbon, but that's not unreasonable. Oh, we're on the Yes, why do I want why would I want to cross over the bridge? Why would I want to deploy on the far bank? I can deploy on this bank. I mean I suppose I could technically put Jaegers here to deploy stakes and then run back. Okay, these guys are going to be enough to hold the bridge. Then I've got a handful of units, and I mean a handful, to hold the other. So let's take two sets of guns. Come on, deploy like in a that. Oh, for God's sake, come on. Then I'm going to have one of my gun teams sit here, and the other gun team just deploy here and shoot whoever you like. Then my general's going to go over here by the... Uh, oh, I've stolen my Hessian Jaegers. Oh, okay. So that reinforcement army is actually coming in on our side of the island. So that's really actually quite bad. Man. 
my general over here as well. To be honest, <clears throat> I can probably steal a bunch more. There we go. So we're engaging their cavalry up front. Obviously it would be cavalry. So all of you need to run over behind behind this square formation. The one square formation that can actually hold. As long as the square doesn't break. Hopefully these are oh, these Lancer Guards are gonna go straight for the spikes. Troopers, I wanna see that. Because they're running oh they're running nice and broad as well. So they're gonna hit the entire line. Ah! <laughs> yeah, there we go. So keep my Highlanders in square. This is hella dodgy. Let's bring my general's bodyguard back. Hella, hella dodgy. So you men pour fire on whomever you like. Just keep running. Just keep running. Obviously sound kicks in as well. But yeah, ultimately, ultimately we're, I would expect lots of these units to route. There we go. Just get into position. I mean, lots of their units aren't actually in good condition, so I wouldn't expect them to, to hold on too well. Counter charge the provincial cavalry. You men charge in to protect my general. I think my marines are going to have a great time against provincial cavalry. Go, bring my general back. Yeah, all the while there's these engineers making their way across. Or wanting to make their way across. Okay, let's steal two more infantry units and get them up over here. Well, actually, that's a bit unnecessary. These guys formed up. The new men just load and fire at your own time. Get my cavalry on the move. You guys just keep bombarding those Spaniards on that side of the bridge. You go smash into the gorillas. Let's just push. Push up in general. Let's see if my general can. No, okay, get out of there. Go after the gunners. The gorillas don't want to give up 
Now they've hit my general. Now they don't want to give that up. Hussars, engineers. They re these guys on the other side really can't work out what side of the map they want to be on. The e men present and fire. There we go. So now, form my men up in a box around the uh, focusing the on, on the bridge. I mean, let's speed up time a bit as well. So you focus on the light horse. Because both squares will be equally devastating for them to cross. See Spanish bandits. Yeah, they won't uh, last long trying to cross over. These engineers might be a bit more sturdy, but they're still going to suffer the same problem. up to make sure everyone is in range to engage the engineers and let's crank up our speed a bit just because it's mainly these guys getting into position the guys on the other side of the river are really prevaricating on where they want to go good we're going to get some kill we might get a handful of kills These hussars, 30 cavalrymen. As everyone rises up and engages, yeah, the commander of this force has been destroyed. My guns give them a blast of canister for good measure. Okay, yeah, all these gunners focus on this last foot guard unit. Because they've got to make the call on where they're going to cross. But yeah, that was that was very very dangerous. Do not want to fight too many battles like that in the aftermath of the Gibraltar auto resolves. Yeah, understandably they're wavering. There they go. Good stuff. So Horace Davison's force is has been very badly, badly damaged. And this force to the north is looking a bit vulnerable. But still, we can try and recruit some reinforcements. We can ship some Highlanders back in from Scotland. Uh, no. Raid away. <laughs> <laughs> Let them raid. We need to rebuild. Rebuild our strength. Yep, I've still got the potential Ottoman frustration. Yeah, we're still... Our objectives are still on target. They might take a bit longer because we are... Uh, <laughs> some of our men now are... are um, a bit vulnerable. So 13 colonies are still preparing for the future war. And we've got the Barbary states still doing what they do. 52,000. Okay, Flynn Gardner, you men replenish and push up to the front. Horace Davison, you need to replenish and get back. Our grand fleet down here at this port here. Like I said, I couldn't replenish them last turn because I didn't have the income. So in one turn they're going to get a naval hospital, so we're going to build... Just build a brace of second rates. Like I said, they're, they're getting a bit close to the north, so you men are going to pull back. 
Because again, you are also running short of troops. Although, to be honest, do I just rob some troops from what's already been recruited to boost Horace Davidson? I think I probably do. It's still a very elite army. And I might steal that Hussar unit. Good stuff. So then, uh, Andrew Hardy on this side of Tangier. You can recruit a Royal Cairo Infantry Guard. And then in Cairo itself, let's recruit some an army ready to push against the Barbary States. And then let's tear down Sandy Bay. Let's repair Cadiz. Oh no, Cadiz isn't ours, is it? Yes, Silly me. What you Get you into Madrid. Back here in England. Ready for orders. Very well. Under sail. Ready and I'll just deploy another force into Spain Mark Co under Mark Cochrane I might land them near Sir William Pepperell you can hold the north bank let's bring the sloop back to Greenwich Let's get Sloop Orion to raid La Havre and get out. Just dismantle it. Just break it up for a turn. And then Scotland. I don't know. Do we recruit a brand new Highlander army? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. You can get some Grenadier Guards. Two Clansmen. To your regiment of horse. Yeah, it's not recruiting the artillery yet. And we might actually give you a let's get a general field marshal of the army that's gonna take their spot. We've got horse guards. Horse how many three of those we can get. Oh, right, okay. New town emerges in Guatemala. Upgrade you to a craft workshop. Upgrade you to a smith. That was our previous fleet that got punted out there. Yeah, I know there's lots of some lots of this some of this stuff we'll have done. I didn't accurately do everything that I'd spent money on one for one. So you're ready to push on Charleston. Let's move you up to the front toward Williamsburg. Anything more? Okay, tech advances. We've got shortened carbines. They've gone straight onto machine rifling. Great. They've finished power loom and gone straight onto steam pumped land drainage, which I don't know if that's what I want you to focus on. No, not when we've got quick lime. No siree. Good stuff. So soon we'll be able to move on Charleston, but I do want to focus on Spain at the moment. Just replenish. Rebuild. That's the name of the game. Oh, an archangel demand the surrender. <laughs> Going to ground. There is no need to uh, to make war. I mean, obviously, because we've been focusing so much on Spain, I've not really been looking at what's been going on um, in Eastern Europe. And it's nice of the French to keep frustrating the Ottomans because it'll keep the Ottomans from focusing at us. Spain is rebuilding. No, you're not going to... In or do I intercept them? I do. I don't want to, but because their armies are depleted anyway and I've got an influx of fresh troops, I may as well take this as an opportunity to do damage to the Spanish so that we can maintain our advance. Or the, the pace of our advance, at least. Order. 
So again, we want to play very defensive because we've got some infantry units that are just very, very weak. So put a bunch of our weak units in the center because at least they can have some artillery support. And then space out some of our elite troops on the flank and because the left flank has got fewer infantry they get the hussars good stuff but yeah i think it makes sense to focus on you know we may as well do attrition to the spanish if they're giving us the opportunity to do so so we're opening up focusing on their cavalry, which makes sense because it's their cavalry that can do, that has the possibility, has the chance to do the most damage to us. Line infantry itself, most of this stuff will break under a few volleys. But again, that's why most of my weak inf weaker infantry is in my centre. Because at least they've got lots of overlapping support with each other. get my general out here as well so you guys all focus on the carabineros the lancers have been shot to bits this cavalry unit has been shot to pieces I mean, it's annoying that it's chosen now to stop working Carabinier, Carabina. Both these guns, canister shot, focus on that pikeman. They're going to try and get some pot shots at my light horse. That's not going to help them out. And there go the Swiss pikes. Bring my light horse in to smash the 43rd regiment. More cavalry to the rear. See men push up. These guns switch to round shot. Focus on the cavalry. These guns switch to round shot. Focus on the pikes. Let's use my hussars to try and develop, uh, to try to get a bit more of a killing blow on some of these infantry units. Maybe they've opened up on the Carabineros Real, Reales. See, so you men chase down that militia, you men chase down that regiment of line. Because we've got, we know we've got a lot of French strength to contend with, so we need to make sure we take advantage of these opportunities. Yeah, my general's bodyguard's not going to do too much to that retreating infantry. But these hussars are going to be able to clear out that routing pike unit but let's let them damn right continue let's let them continue to be shot at by our infantry until it no longer serves our purpose yeah just do damage to them don't let them don't well try not to let them retreat and regroup so the auto resolve guards were were mean to us, but that's what you have to do if you're going to try and auto resolve. Is you need to have truly overwhelming force. 
which means that all of your armies get damaged. But there we go, that's them cleared out, and this should be another line infantry unit destroyed. See, two men, because they're spread out. The 12 cavalry can't handle it. Good. So that's another... <clears throat> at least that's one Spanish raiding force cleared out from the south. So now we need to continue our slow, progressive advance up through Spain. <clears throat> and obviously once more of my uh, troops are in better condition... There's lots of Ottoman troops in central Russia. That is a concern. That is a concern. 13 colonies know something's up. Let's do the Danes, but they're continuing to pump troops into attacking Sweden, which is wonderful. If they take Sweden, then fair play, you know. Where are you going? Oh, away from me, that's what matters. So my fleet down here in the naval hospital. Yeah. I don't build an Admiral's flagship. Build another round of first rate ships. See none of our shit none of our armies are in perfect condition. But they are getting getting there at least this force under George Wade George Wade can get one of the infantry units being recruited at Lisbon Anything more? and we're going to fortify Gibraltar because you know, it feels like the Ottomans might want to attack it I don't know why I'm getting that feeling I just am so, let's push up this army on the north bank. So you guys need to carry on replenishing. New port emerges in New Andalusia. Let's recruit the trading port. Let's get a sloop to occupy it. Corellia has been upgraded to a next level fort up here at Arkhangelsk. Obviously we took it without a fight. We can leave, thankfully. There's no... Well, I mean, there are fur trappers to upgrade, but there aren't any actual towns. So then you guys continue to push on to Komi. Ah, uh, yes, you guys marched out and hit Radimir Loganov. Then you proceeded to Replenish and go hit that force there. Okay, then let's get a church school. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of... An awful lot of troops. It's a concern. I would be lying if I didn't... If I said it wasn't a concern. So you men advance a fraction, you men advance up within range. Actually, you might just go crush the men in, in this Iron Master's works and still replenishing. Well, I haven't got the money to fully replenish you anyway. Oh, you didn't need. No, 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 no. I remember now. That's your cavalry unit, sir. Good stuff. Okay, so we're still squeezing Madrid. At least now our, our fleet down here is in fairly good shape. Once we get some more seconds, that will help. But yeah, we need to slowly tighten the noose around Madrid. Okay, let's hit end turn. So I want to focus. So in in the absence of a world war, I want to 
right? Uh, no. Uh, what's your angle? <laughs> okay, so they've left Madrid exposed because they're trying to conduct some sort of penetrating offensive action. Oh, the Prussian. Oh, okay, right. So why the the Prussians are building up is because they are now currently not at war with anyone on their doorstep. So they're just going to slowly keep building up their troops. And that's bad for us because eventually they will declare war on us and all of those troops are going to come our way. So we do need to keep up the gradual uh, expansion of our garrison forces. Yeah, they shot our agent in Paris. Keep upgrading our lower tier buildings. You guys get in port. Someone on their food blender's gone past. Okay, yeah, because every turn I wait, the more replenish these guys are this unit here this army here is actually in at full strength so they will push over and attack arturo cruz you're in good shape <clears throat> okay you might drive if you go south you can block both of those armies pretty well yes and that leaves you free to put madrid under siege And then you, you need to go look and look at other parts of the the territory to find out if we've got any roaming stacks wandering about. Yes, sir. Can you get these militia around to start doing some raids behind the lines? Uh, Lisbon can keep recruiting useful troops actually no you might recruit some swiss guard good so this fleet is back up to strength so let's plonk them in the middle of the strait just to let everyone know that it is ours You guys are going to wait in position to see what happens to Arturo Cruz once these guys cross over and hit him. Silly Spain wasting their troops in silly little spoiling operations like that. But then again, I suppose they can't just sit back and... They can't sit back and um, just wait in Madrid because otherwise they will just uh, sit there and siege them out. They'll ha they ha they did have to come out and get me at some point. Oh, we're gonna—it's a bridge crossing, eh? Very well. So let's create one force to cross over. At the uh, at the Ford with my general, and then these units are all going to cross over at this Ford. Although it looks like they might want to cross as well. Okay, no, I was going to say so. Swiss Pikes lead the way line line native infantry guards swiss line so these troops are going to i mean they're also going to cross my hessian jaegers might push up to the riverbank but my swiss pikes want to lead the way my artillery's blowing the hell out of these units the 8th and the 16th
pikemen lead the way, sir. You might be line cavalry, so you're going to fire your damn carbines at me. These carabiners might be frustrating. See, they just killed a whole bunch of their own guys. Hessian Jaeger's getting some precious little pops off. I mean, they're, they're, they were always going to get involved in a big melee fight, but as long as I got my musk, as long as I got my uh, pikes involved, I didn't really care who was in charge. These are all skirmish cavalry anyway. There we go. They are pushing us on one flank. So let's storm my men up. Because we've got some good artillery support. And the 16th Regiment are not going to be long for this world. So then this infantry can just march past the fight that's going on. These carabiners are aware of what's going on. This infantry's all broken. Looks like their infantry's trying to flee. Some of this infantry just break away from the fight. Got some light infantry guards involved. Okay, there we go. Let's just keep the guns firing against the Spanish infantry. Get one set of guns to fire at the carabiner. There we go. These men are running through our route. <laughs> These men are routing through our line. So the 109th is pouring some lovely fire into the 14th. And they're also being shot at by artillery fire. There go the carabiner. So I've got one gun team I didn't even set up. So you guys bombard. Two of you bombard the unit up on the hill. To be honest, you all bombard the unit on the hill because it looks like General's bodyguard's gonna book it. Well, General's bodyguard is booking it. These men push up to threaten the 9th from the rear. You men advance. So all my artillery is against the 9th. Attack the general's bodyguard. You men attack the line infantry so my general can do some mopping up. Fortunately these guys are trying to route through my Swiss line so that my infantry will my, my infantry will do a lot of damage. I mean general's been killed. This Swiss line's hoovering him up. Yeah we'll continue. Stop our artillery from firing. Yeah, but this infantry is getting crazy loaded to kills. 
reckon it'll get better once these guys show up as well. General Staff doing some mopping up. Speed up time, because yeah, those guys have routed already. Yes! Decisive victory, that's the word you want to see. Hopefully, the army is destroyed. Hopefully. Nope, obviously, a small fragment of them is free to run and route, but this is where our little garrison force comes in. Vasco Morales, you are done for. So you men get back to Lisbon and replenish. Good stuff. So if William Pepperell gets charged, it might be a bit dicey at points, but nothing he can't handle. Obviously they're pushing against uh, Madrid, so let's march you guys up as a reinforcement. Good stuff. Got 27,000. Next door neighbor's annoying dog barking away. Let's do some. Let's do some overall economy upgrading. All my most prosperous regions have been upgraded anyway, so I'm not bothered about exactly where else is getting roads. To be honest, I should you should always keep on top of road upgrades because they are compounding throughout the whole game. Like they're always. The bonuses to wealth and the bonuses to growth just, you know, they're crazy. Your agent not quite executed, I remember that. Obviously we're doing some raiding here. I mean, we're not far off from being in a position to declare war on the 13 colonies, because I don't think they're going to be... No, they're not allied with anyone important. I mean, there's one army up here that's a bit risky. But that's why he's here. This guy can is meant to be here to push and take Annapolis and Williamsburg quickly and drive up to Philadelphia. And Charleston might take it might take a turn to crack. Uh, Blitz it in turn. See there go my spies. Oh, yeah, that, that little force there. Let's take care of them. They're splitting up. I, mean, I do have to fight those armies. There's no way around it because I've got uh, Spain owns Sardinia. Ooh, that's another that's a big army down by Charleston. Still, my army's more than enough to take care of it. You're on territory. Agent gained. Let's get him over to Boston. New town emerges in Guatemala. So then the sloop Argo can go occupy the port. And then the sloop Prince Royal can occupy Santa Ana de Coro. Let's upgrade both those ports. Yeah, they're raiding. That's frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. Move them, those guys north. So you guys can replenish and okay so you guys have two howitzers let's recruit some recruit some more guns and some infantry i do want these guys to slowly start to supplement the gibraltar garrison so they ran to intercept us from raiding you're probably gonna have to go hit Francis. You're gonna hit Mr. Fajardo, who had previously died. And then these men over here are gonna come after Pietro, Piotr, Peter, Bokchov. You men storm around the rear towards Comey. Again, that's another demand surrender. So we have technically. What? I don't quite know where that attack order was. So we've technically won the campaign but we haven't because this is a world domination so we're going to carry on. So I said Comey is secured. Can we immediately leave Comey? We can. Push on to Ufa. 
Let's keep upgrading some of the Russian infrastructure because we do know they will come after us in the Russia, so we will likely need to um, get a bit offensive. Let's build another craft workshop and I'm just going to hop off a minute, guys, and have a quick break. Just a second. And I'm back. Uh, right. So. Let's upgrade some of these culture buildings and let's don't build the army staff college yet because I do well then again will you get me more unit types generally because the main thing is I do want to keep building up my uh, my garrisons here because when they come after us, they're going to come after us. I might actually recruit some extra extra heavy, heavier infantry to replace the militia in this army here. But, hop back over here. So yeah, we need to fight these armies anyway because we need to take Spain and we need, to, we need to take France, sorry, and we need to take Cagliari, so... The Barbary States. It's still a protector of the Ottomans. Ottomans, so I can't push against the Ottoman. I can't push against the Barbaries until the Ottomans get up to their tricks. So the military governor's barracks can. Yeah. Okay. I need to upgrade to this before Gibraltar can uh, start replenishing its garrison. Okay. So Sir William Pepperell, march up to here. Go east. Will you draw in any any Spanish reinforcements? You will not. But we will engage you to drive you back towards Madrid. Arguably that might not be what we want to do, but uh, you know, if we if we end up having to uh, fight them near Madrid, then more power to them, especially as we are our, re our reinforcements are pushing up to Madrid anyway, so that's not a deal breaker in of itself. So, deploying my heavy artillery on higher ground behind our line. Form a great line. Fear not, how it says. Soon you will be. You will have quick line. Soon. Put some cover on one flank, my lifeguards and my general, my field marshal on the other. Everyone, make ready, because you know who they're going to aim at. My men are going to go on the offensive. Yeah, it's a lot of damage done there. These flank units form square to allow my lifeguards to come in. So who are they going to hit? The volume guards know what's up. Lifeguards counter charge, general's bodyguard push up. Okay, they've set up because they know they're going to have to fire on us. So let's get howitzers. Let's retarget some of our howitzers to provide a bit more close support. These units can now get out of square and push up. Tercio pikemen, eh? Let's put some bait down. Let's see how well they go after my how well they go after my field marshal. The howitzers need to aim at something like the general's bodyguard.
so Tercio pikemen, they're good, but if you keep wrapping around the flanks, and these guys are going to be killing a handful of them on the on the the flank anyway, their morale will break. Yeah, there we go. So their morale is broken. These men can push up as a line. My field marshal can get some lovely kills against the pikes. Well, we've been charged by Swiss Grenz Regimento de Sevilla and some Wallian guards. Charge the dragoons. You men push up around the flank. Our light cavalry get up that hill. The you men come storming in from the rear. Heavy, how it's, uh, heavy guns all focus on the Irish Brigade. So the Walloon Guard are doing well. My infantry is wavering, so you men charge into the back of those Walloon Guard. Regiment of Horse hit the Guerrilla Mercenaries. Heavy Cavalry hit the Irish Brigade. Let's take all of our guns and stop them from attacking whatever they are attacking. Push out my infantry, push out my cavalry. Fear not. You charge into the Swiss guards, you men get involved, heavy cavalry come storming through the centre. Heavy cavalry here, go hit the general's bodyguard. New men smash into the back of this regimento de Soria. New men charge the gunners. No! William Pepperell, how did you die? My elite field marshal of Europe. Well, I have to build another one. Damn, 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 damn. He was charging into the back of an infantry unit. That's just bad luck. Very bad luck. Nag. Damn, 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 and blast. Right. Riley Putnam. Not like I can actually rebuild one anyway. See, Elric Williams, Field Marshal of the Navy, uh, Field Marshal of the Army, he can go up to join Edinburgh. So the, technically this guy is more in charge. Ready for orders. Lord? But you men replenish as much as you can. Sir. You push to make sure there's no armies in Cartagena. There's a navy, but that's okay. Yes. We'll push this line infantry unit up to block the port, to punt them out. Well, out you go. The port is now ours. Okay. Four turns. Let's hit in turn. Four turns to get quick climb. So let's see. Oh yeah, they're going to gang up on my poor little militia. That's all they can hit. These scallywags. Well, they're all doing it. They're all just bundling up because they know that they can't uh, do anything else. Oh, Denmark's going to be put his pushing back against Sweden. That's two victories for Denmark on the trot. Curious to see who how they get on. They're continuing to attack. And ooh, I don't like that Barbary States push. Oh, I mean, if, if the if the Barbary States kick off this world war, I'll find that funny. Let's get this spy down to Crimea. So we've got cobbled roads. Upgrade them to better roads. Let's upgrade all these towns and industry buildings. You can hit Pietro Barkov. You can chase him down. So there's a small army here. 
Triumphant. Awaiting further orders. Sir Edward Braddock. Uh, get some curiosity air to join you. One unit of horse artillery. Because you are going to push on to Ufa. Okay, let's upgrade. Well, the Naval College gets us new marines, but we're not entirely worried about that at the moment. It will be amusing if it's the Barbary States that kicks war off. So you men march north to control this bridge north of Madrid. That's quite a critical bridge. Let's just get another general. Riley Putnam, congratulations. I suppose actually the smart decision would have been to send you north of the river rather than to the south. But let's go back into... Actually, let's get to here. Ah, nuts. It triggered the... Triggered an attack. No. Don't do that. Let's repair... Building, let's upgrade Porto. Pick up a general here, Randall Axford, and let's get some more guns. That's six units. You can only have four. You can probably stand to give up two infantry units. So let's march them down towards Gibraltar. Because you guys can act as act as the garrison. And these men can also drive north because I want I need to get ready to hit because I'm, I, I am at war with France so this doesn't just end when I take Paris actually you guys might get over here ready to sail over to Cagliari there we go Getting another another heavy fleet rises okay, let's not get us quite so many ships Okay, let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. Let's hop back over to the Americas. Again, lots of good stuff worth upgrading here. Because you've got lots of pretty much basic infantry and irregulars. You won't have any elite infantry yeah I will declare on them but I will do it at the right moment okay so you can Royal Highland Grenadiers let's get some of those on the go good they've still not fit I oh, know they have fixed it but they're not getting any money for it Let's break it again. I don't want to keep ships out there because otherwise they just sail around and capture them anyway, so there's no point. We may as well just break it and retreat. These militia are going to pull back. Um... It might be worth just attacking Madrid and just getting it over with, in which case I want this army to do it, rather than this army and their fusiliers. I want them to be ready to fight these forces as they come in. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Spain. Cheers everyone.